Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this wonderful mess here that I have. I just wanted to give everyone a little update uh, about what I've been working on, um, what project I should say that I'm working on right now. Uh, as you can see, well, maybe you can see from some of this mess on my desk, it is a Christmas journal. Now I've done the cover finish that and the pages are I would say probably 80% complete um, all the sewing is done I think all the sewing is done I'm not quite sure because you know there's always those last minute details you want to add but for the most part for at least the page construction the sewing is complete um, right now I'm working on some tags that I've made with some of the paper I just cut them out and the nice thing about making tags like this is that all those leftover scraps that you, when you cut the paper up and you don't know what to do with, you don't want to throw them away, but then they end up sitting around forever in a day. Well, I've come up with a great idea to recycle them into tags. And I'm sure everybody else does that, but it was just an aha moment I had the other day. And so what I did, if I can find it, I made templates of two different size tags. I am going to make some more sizes. These are the two that I have for now. So we have this smaller one and then we have this larger one here. So as you can see I've made some teeny tiny ones. And then these are the ones made with the larger tag and then I just sewed on the top of most of these some lace trim some burlap trim um, some of these have the sorry silk ribbon on it there's another one with the ribbon um, and this one I sewed also on the bottom here as well as the top. So we have those. We have the little itty bitty tags. And then I did take some of the leftover scrapbooking paper and just made some journaling spots. So I have that one. And I have this one here. we have those two and then of course just these are the regular cutouts from the paper pad so you have the little mousse this one is so cute and I kind of want to do something else maybe sew it onto um, coffee dyed paper maybe I don't know um, layer some ribbon or burlap on this but it's just so cute I love that one and then I cut some of these out, rounded the corners on some, some I kept just plain. There's those. And then these two. And then the last thing I had that I was working on was this. Um, this is another piece of leftover coffee dyed paper. And I basically fold it into thirds, round in the corners, and then I sewed some, I have some burlap trim, some of the, oh my gosh, why can't I think right now? The lace, the lace trim from the Dollar Tree. I made a little bow with the sorry silk ribbon. So that's all on there. And I think it just makes a nice little place to journal, nice little embellishment. I love that, all the layering of laces and trims. And then I have another little bow waiting to go somewhere. I don't know if we'll go on a page or on a tag, but there's that one. 
so yeah so that's what I've been up to lately um, actually I'm going to do another video when I'm ready to sew the pages in um, I'm just going to do a little tutorial about how I um, do the three hole pamphlet stitch I know there's a gazillion videos out there but I figure you might as well show the way I do it which I'm sure is similar to everybody else's but that way you can see me finish off this journal and then once this is done it will be up in my Etsy store um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else it looks like oh and I do have this this fun rickrack that I want to add to the journal also red for Christmas but I know this is always fun to use as embellishing or trims or whatnot. So yeah, so that's my journal so far and that's what I've been up to. Thanks for watching. Bye.